Here is our given function, h of x. I'd like to find h of negative 1. So everywhere there's x, I'll replace x with negative 1. Be very careful, there's that minus, and then x is negative 1. So we have negative 1 cubed, that's negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. That is negative 1, and then I'm subtracting a negative 1. So that's negative 1 added to the opposite of negative 1, which is 1. h of negative 1 just happens to be 0. Let's find a few more function values. Let's find h of 0. h of 0. Everywhere there's x, I replace x with 0. That's 0 cubed minus 0. Well, 0 cubed is 0, and 0 minus 0 is 0. So h of 0 is 0. And let's find one more function value. Let's find h of 4. How do we find h of 4? Everywhere there's x, we put 4. So that's 4 cubed minus 4. Remember order of operations. 4 cubed is 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 is 64 minus 4. And then we have 64 minus 4, which is 60. So h of 4 is 60. By the way, don't forget the corresponding ordered pair. When x is 4, h of 4, or y, is 60. The ordered pair is 4, 60, but it is true that h of 4 is 60.